Hello everyone and welcome back to yet another episode of Edentofacia and this is the continuation of the part 1 where we discussed how stains are caused in the teeth, how your teeth look stained. If you have missed watching that, no problem, I'll link it on the bar over here where you can go and see that why tooth get stains in the first place and in this episode I'm going to discuss that how you can remove those stains. There are certain things which you can do at home and there are certain things which you have to do in the office as in professionally done by a dentist and your stains can really be tackled off. We have, we have a number of things through which the stains can be removed so do not think that this is some problem which cannot be dealt with. Let's get directly into it. Let's go. The first and foremost thing which I have been telling right from the first episode of when Edentofacia started it is that oral hygiene has to be spot on. You need to brush your teeth twice and it's not about just brushing your teeth twice but brushing your teeth twice using correct brushing technique using the right amount of paste and brushing your teeth twice flossing your teeth cleaning your tongue all right and swishing your mouth these are the things which you need to take care of if you are brushing your teeth properly if you're flossing in between if you're cleaning your tongue the chances of food particles remaining in your mouth is going to be really really less and that is again going to help you with not having food particles settling in your mouth. If food particles do not settle in your mouth, there are less chances of bacterial colonies forming around it and staining the teeth, which is that chalky, whitish, yellowish kind of substance which is uh, seen in between the teeth. Next up, very common reason of having stains is when you drink tea, coffee or wine or pomegranate juice, anything which is very highly pigmented, food particles which are very highly pigmented, usually tend to stain our teeth a lot. What you can do immediately to take those stains off or, or what you can do immediately to avoid those stains from settling into your teeth is to immediately take a sip of water, rinse through your mouth or either gargle it out or you can just drink it inside. So the key here is to quickly take in water, rinse your mouth so that you're not letting those colored particles settle in the teeth crevices. These were the two things which you could do at home. Now let's discuss what you can do in the clinic or in dental office. The first thing which dentists will do to remove your stains and the kind of tartar which is built up on your teeth is scaling and polishing. They'll use ultrasonic scalers or ultrasonic tips which are attached to their dental chairs which comes with a water jet so that you do not have sensitivity or you have less sensitivity. They'll try and clean all those tartar particles and all those stains using those ultrasonic instruments. After the cleaning, after the ultrasonic instruments, we also polish the teeth using slurry. So what polishing does is even if you have a little bit of abrasion which is caused on your tooth surface while you brush very hard or while scaling, the polishing will smoothen your surfaces of the teeth. What will happen if the tooth surface gets smoothened? The chances, so if you see if this is my tooth surface, if this is my tooth surface, the chances of things getting inside it is more. But if this is my tooth surface, chances of food adhering here is less. So this is what polishing does to your teeth. So definitely go for scaling and polishing. The next technique for, sand, uh, for stain remover is sandblasting. Sandblasting is used is done using an instrument where the blasting is done very close to your teeth and it removes the uh, stain particles very effectively. It's really good with smoke stains. It really goes with little bit of intrinsic stains. Um, there are certain kinds of stains which are like inside the tooth caused due to trauma or with fluoride or with uh, antibiotics during those cannot be removed but but sandblasting really helps in removing stains very well it's a procedure which your dentist does so this video will help you understand all the procedures and will make you aware of the terms which we use so that you know that there's something like this happening and you can get it done for yourself as well the next thing which can be done to remove stains from your teeth or to make the color of your teeth better is either bleaching or tooth whitening what we call in general term i want to explain the whole procedure over here but bleaching will definitely take the shade of your tooth two shades down or two shades lighter and then you again have to maintain the shade of your tooth if you start drinking your tea coffee and smoking it will get back to square one so tooth whitening is something which is done but there are sets, but there are prerequisites which you need to follow not every tooth or not everybody's mouth is meant for tooth whitening so take proper guidance from your dentist we also discussed that people who have the habit of grinding their teeth at night or bruxism what we call in the technical terms they also have tooth stains because what happens is when their teeth are grinding at night because of the forces the enamel and the dentine develop cracks and then they have food particles sticking on those cracks and because of the uh, uh, 
grinding of the teeth the enamel also wears off and the dentine starts showing and this leads to stains as well as yellowish appearance of the teeth as well as sensitivity to avoid that what we can do is people who have the problem of bruxism they can wear mouth guards the night mouth guards or the teeth night guards which are plastic silicone trays which your dentist will make especially for you they'll personalize and make it for you according to your teeth and your jaw you just have to wear them and this prevents all this isn't it easy lastly if we have a lot of uh, certain stains usually are intrinsic as an in internal into the teeth suppose if you have had a trauma and the tooth has turned dark in color if you have a lot of fluoride stains and your tooth enamel is really really bad if because of the medicines which you have had during the child childhood or your mother had when you were in her womb and that have caused stains in the teeth those are very difficult to be removed with all those materials so what can be done for this is we can put laminates on the teeth laminates are something which is if you understand that crown of the teeth if this is the crown of the teeth laminates are half a portion which only cover the front portion of the teeth usually laminates are done on the anterior front and lower uh, upper and lower teeth and they prevent the stains from looking outside because these are opaque crown films and they they give a beautiful appearance to your teeth or if not laminates and if you have stains on the posterior teeth also and you have to go for a complete full mouth rehabilitation we can put crowns on teeth always remember if you are only putting a crown on teeth which has not undergone root canal treatment there are certain times when your dentist might need to have to do an intentional root canal treatment so that you do not have sensitivity later on do not think that they are trying to bluff you or do not think they are trying to misguide you but if you only have to put a crown on certain teeth for aesthetic purposes also sometimes we do need to do a intentional root canal that is why we don't call it root canal it's an intentional root canal which we do it intentionally so that you we protect your teeth and we protect you from sensitivity and future problems so these all are the methods through which we can take care of all the stain problems in your teeth please if you like the content hit like button subscribe to our channel for more such videos and be very up to date about your dental and oral health click to the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a video and also share this video with your friends and family so that they also know that stains of teeth are not something which you have to live with you can take care of your teeth you can uh, if there's something which you are not able to do at home you can come to us and everything has a solution to it please 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 give tender love and care to your oral cavity your mouth your gums your tongue everything this is also something which you need to take care of as well as you take care of your body till next time have a very good day and lots of love and light from edentofacial and dr sonalaidu bye